What? I actually have Champion's Path stuff? I never thought I would, but here we are. We're getting in the Champion's Path. So remember in one of my older videos where I was talking about Champion's Path and how hard it was to get any type of those products? Well, my opinion on that still hasn't changed. It's still very hard to find and there's people still buying out stores of the Elite Trainer Boxes and you still see these same Trainer Boxes being sold on eBay at ridiculous prices. All for a chance to get those two Charizard cards. Luckily, I have some awesome friends, and I was gifted an Elite Trainer Box and a Hatterin Collection Box for my birthday a while back. And if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't even be doing a Champion's Path video right now. So shoutouts to my mother-in-law, my friend Don, and my friend Mario. You can find them on Twitch doing variety types of stuff, including opening up Pokemon cards. I'll leave links to their channels in the description below. But now that I have some Champion's Path stuff in my possession, let's learn a little bit about the history of this set and, of course, the rare cards you need to look out for if you even get your hands on this. So Champion's Path is a special kind of Sword and Shield expansion that released on September 25th, 2020. It's a small-sized 80-card set, and booster packs can only be obtained through getting products like the Dub Wool and Hatterin collection boxes, the Galar gym-themed pin collection boxes, the Marnie premium collection box, and of course, the Elite Trainer box that I have here if you're feeling fancy. Luckily, this set is 80 cards, so the cards that you need to look for in this set aren't many, but this is one of those times where less is more. There's gonna be some really, really good things in this set, and they're gonna make themselves known. If you pull a card, they're definitely gonna be like, hey, look at me, I'm really, really rare. This is one of those times. So luckily in Champion's Path, there are no regular rares, so we can get straight into the action with the Hollow Rares, and those studs are made up of Scorch, Hatterin, Machamp, Zygarde, Lycanroc, Galarian Obstagoon, Scrafty, Altaria, your rival Marnie, and Professor's Research. The Hollow Rare Vs and their Ultra Rare counterparts start off with Dreadnought, its Ultra Rare variant, Gardevoir, Galarian Cursula, Graplocked, then you have Venusaur, Aldegas, Incineroar, Waylord, Alcremie, Lucario, and Duraludon. All very nice and worthy of a champion. The Hollow Rare VMAX cards in their Secret Rare versions consist of Gigantamax Dreadnought, Dynamax Gardevoir, and Gigantamax Alcremie. Then you finish those off with one of the most valuable and most sought after cards in this whole set, the Secret Rare Gigantamax Charizard. This is one of the reasons why this set is so scarce, and if you're lucky enough to get one, this thing is worth around $334 American ungraded in near mint condition and around $1600 graded as a gem mint PSA 10. But let's get to the rest of the cards. There are also rare cards like the Ultra Rare Hop Trainer card, secret rare versions of Gym Leader's Kabu and Piers, a gold-colored suspicious food tin, and then we have the other sought-after card in this set, the secret rare shiny-colored Charizard. This card is about $330 ungraded, and it's in the $1,500 range when it's graded PSA 10. So luckily I have a Hatterin collection box and an Elite Trainer box, and with this being so hard to find, I'm thankful that I can even get to experience this set. So with that being said, let's open up these boxes and let's see what happens. Okay, we are at the conference table. So let's start off with the uh, Hatterin collection box. As you see there, I don't know if the camera can focus on it. Yeah. As you can see, there is a jumbo size Hatterin promo card and a promo um, Hollow Rare V Hatterin with four Champions Path booster packs. So, um, yeah, give me a second to open this straight up. 
and uh, we shall begin the process. The process of, or actually the path, the champion's path of getting something really rare. Let's toss that aside. And uh, yeah, wow, they, they protect this really well. Let's uh let's begin. Okay. Let's make sure these promo cards are not damaged. I'm gonna leave that Hatterin promo in here for now. And then I will sleeve that up. Same thing with this jumbo card. Wow, look at that beaut. Confounding Pulse, Mental Crush. I'm going to put this aside as well. I have sleeves for jumbo size cards, so I'm going to make sure that that's taken care of. And uh, here are the Champion's Path packs. How exciting, right? Man, I never thought I'd be opening up Champion's Path stuff. So here we ha have, we have Galarian Obstagoon on this one. Uh, Gardevoir, another Gardevoir. And then we, it looks like a Gigantamax Dreadnought. So let's just start off with Gardevoir and see what happens, everybody. Ooh, that was pretty easy to open. Not gonna be showing code cards this time. If you want to know what, if you want a code, comment below. And we have, oh, damn, I should follow my own advice. I thought that that was going to show either a green or gray backing. And we have a gray backing. Well, that was weird how the code card was just straight up showing the code on the back. So I still think it is four from the back. So let's go four from the back. Move it to the front. All right. Pack number one from the Hatterin box. We have Psychic Energy, Hat Trem, Victini, Turfield Stadium, Ekans, Scraggy, Fool Heel, Rock Rough, Galarian Zigzagoon, Hatena, and our rare card is a hollow rare Machamp. Woo! That's good. That was one of the hollow rare cards that were mentioned earlier. And uh, let me sleeve that up real quick. And as always, I have my sleeves on hand. And there you go, Machamp. There's a nice sleeved home for you. Macho Revenge, Dynamite Punch. It looks pretty macho here. Solid. Let's move on to this. Uh, is this my second Gardevoir pack? Yeah, the second Gardevoir pack. Hopefully we get something better here. Ooh, I love how easy these booster packs are. These are pretty easy to open. Let me make sure that the code card isn't straight up showing. It is. Okay, so let me uh, let me remove the code card, and we have a gray backing here. And uh, yeah, let's see what we get. Four from the back again. And uh, man, I'm gonna flip my stuff. I get either of those Charizards. <laughs> I know I uh, say a lot about Champion's Path, but now that I have it, let's um, let's see it for what it is. A set that has really rare cards. Really rare and sought after cards. So we have Ekans, Scraggy, Full Heal, Rock Rough. Oh, Galarian Zigzagoon, and our rare card is a hollow rare Galarian Obstagoon. Look at that dark type beauty of an Obstagoon. It's cool how it has to be a 
Galarian variant in order to evolve further. Because, you know, the other Zigzagoons just evolve into Lanoon, and that's it. That's where it ends. But we got Galarian Obstagoon right here. Wicked Ruler, looking like a Wicked Ruler here in his Hollow Rare Glory. Good stuff. Now, let's. Uh, speaking of Galarian Obstagoon, let's uh, move on to the Galarian Obstagoon Champions Path pack right here. And man, that is a smooth pack opening. Man, that is nice. All right, so. Huh, I feel like maybe Champion's Path all has gray backing code cards. If that is the case, let me know. I'm not quite, well, I'm familiar with it enough, but not the uh, the code card stuff. So let's just uh, skim through these real quick. Oh, I see something full art. I see something full art. Let's uh, let's just skip all this. Okay, we have Machop. And our rare card is, oh, we got Grapplock. Hollow Rare V, Hollow Rare V, baby. We got Grapplocked. One of the few Hollow Rare V cards in here. That's how you start things off. Well, actually, I don't even think I'm in the beginning anymore, but. He looks like he's about to moonsault press anyone that gets in his way, tie them up, and uh, have his way with them. Graplock V, a nice fighting type card. And let us get to the last pack of the Hatterin box. And we have Gigantamax Dreadnought. So, hopefully, this. Uh, this change it no, it does well, hopefully this this uh I don't know. I feel like I oh shit. Ah, I'm sorry, I just cussed. Um Ah, there you go. There's a freebie right there. I messed up on that one. My fault. But whoever got that, congratulations, cause uh I'm not gonna make that mistake again. <laughs> All right, let's just um, skim through all these. Whoa, what is this? Is this some kind of hollow foil energy card? No way. And our rare card is? Ooh, a hollow rare lichen rock. I don't know how rare these hollow foil energy cards are, but I'm going to sleeve this up too because... This looks like it's important. I don't remember seeing any uh, like hollow foil energy cards in the set of stuff you need to look for, but we got a Lycan Rock Hollow Rare, Rock Throw, Smashing Strike. This is not that crazy looking form, but it's the more. Um, I think it's called the daytime form. Yeah, the daytime form of Lycan Rock. There you go, Rock Throw, Slashing Strike. That's what I got from that last pack from the Hatterin box. So now let's get to the real hype stuff here. And I'm sure you've all been waiting for this, the Elite Trainer box. So let's open this bad boy up. And uh, hopefully we get a champions worthy opening in this so this is more than just packs this is a bunch of other stuff as you will see here on the back of the box it uh yeah it, this one has 10 champions path booster packs a full art promo that features charizard v 65 card sleeves featuring Gigantamax Charizard. That's pretty cool. Um, you already have some card sleeves if you wanted to build a deck. Um, has 45 energy cards, a player's guide to the Champion's Path expansion, which I don't need. I feel like I know enough of it. And um, a TCG rulebook, some 
damage counter dice. That's a that's a new one. Uh, two acrylic condition markers, and of course this box to hold everything. And it has dividers to keep everything organized. So let's unsleeve it. And yes, you can see this is a very premium type of product. Um, oh, and here is the instruction or the player's guide to Champion's Path. And let's open that up right quick. And yeah, it just gives you a rough intro to um, the Elite Trainer box, what it has. And then, um, yeah, it lets you know about the new Pokemon V and VMAX cards. And uh, these are the same uh, Hollow Rare V cards that are in this uh, Champion's Path set. So they're really encouraging you to try to pull these. Or they're using the, the cards from this Champion's Path set to showcase the Hollow Rare Vs and VMAX cards. And... Uh, yeah, it's just letting you know what they're all about. Nope. Look at here. There's our friend Charizard. That's one of the cards everyone wants. Everyone needs. Even people who don't even like Pokemon are like buying up all these boxes and hoping to pull these and hoping to flip them for a good price. Luckily, with the second and third waves that happened with this set, it lowered the value of even the graded versions of these cards. Oh, there's a complete checklist. Nice. That's cool. And yeah, it even showcases all the secret rare cards, the ultra rare cards that I mentioned earlier. And uh, yeah, watch Pokemon TV on the go. Yeah, we'll see about that. Um, but anyway, let's get to the cards and this box. Look at this nice, shiny, high-quality box with the Champion's Path pattern on it. And let's see its contents, shall we? So now we got, oh, the game rules booklet. Here's the dice, six-sided dice. Ah, the sun is like really up in here. But yeah, there you go. The dice. Um, I would assume these are like coins that you would use to uh, flip whenever you need to do things that require that. And then, oh, you can you can lift this up now. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So here are the the eight packs, the eight booster packs they promised. I will get to right now. Let me make sure I don't damage these. Yeah, here are the eight uh, booster packs they're promising. Ah, give me one second. Let me adjust the lighting. It's getting really, really like, it's getting really, I'm getting like some warm lighting right now. Hold on, let me, uh, I think that's a little better. It's a little better. Let me see. Okay, yeah, I'll just hold it like this. Let me show you all. You probably see how sparkly the cards are once I actually pull some stuff. Oh, here are all the energies they promise. And where's that promo Charizard V card that they said was in here? Ah, here it is. Okay. So here is that promo Charizard V card, which um, this actually doesn't look grade worthy because the, the edges are very uneven, but very cool nonetheless. Uh, this looks like a regular version of that shiny colored secret rare card. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put this aside. I'll still sleeve it up. This is, whoa, this is uh, still definitely a nice card. Jumbo size hatter in. And yeah, let's uh, let's just put the, the whole box aside. You already saw the contents and let's focus on the booster packs, shall we? So now, these were the packs that were from 
the Elite Trainer Box. And apparently, according to other PokeTubers out there, they say the Elite Trainer Box probably gives you the best chances of pulling the really rare card. So let's put that to the test and see if that applies to someone like me. So here we are with uh, the first Champion's Path booster with Galarian Obstagoon. And wow, actually these are a little harder to open than the uh, Hatteran box ones. Wow, the other ones were just so easy to open. This, these are a little difficult now. Okay, I got it open. And uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see who goes down. Oh, oh, now it has the now has the code card properly where it should be. Okay. So I'm not revealing that. Hopefully no one saw that code. But if you're quick enough, good on you. You deserve the code. All right, four from the back. Let's see, let's see what we get. First pack from the Elite Trainer Box. We have a Steel-type Energy, Malamar, Turfield Stadium, Lyperd, Trubbish, Roly Coley, Galarian Zigzagoon, Weedle, Purloin, Milo, the gym leader from the Turfield Gym, and then our rare card in here is... Oh, I got another Hatterin card. And the reason why I say another Hatterin card is because, remember my friend Don who I mentioned earlier, the one uh, I shouted out? On my birthday, he ended up getting me a Turfield Gym uh, pin collection box. And the cards that I got from those were two hollow rare Hatterins and I ended up getting a Hollow Rare V Aldegas from that pin collection box. So thanks again, Don. Um, these are all very nice and they came from your gift to me. I appreciate that. But yeah, this is my third Hatterin Hollow Rare that I have got from Champion's Path. And uh, that's quite exciting. I'm, I'm happy about that. So Hatterin. Hollow Rare. Now, we have the Gardevoir pack. Let's make sure that uh, nothing gets damaged as I'm opening this pack. Okay, there we go. Right, we have our code card and uh, You know, my expectations aren't very high. Just, um, I'm not expecting to get any Charizard, but if I do, I will freak out. But uh, I'm going to have my expectations low just because, uh, you know, last time my expectations were a little low and I got a lot of good stuff. So, yeah. Scraggy Ekans. We have a reverse hollow variant of Machoke. And our rare card is, oh, Zygarde, hollow rare. Let me see if I can put that where the sunlight's hitting. See that? Man, it looks good. A Zygarde, hollow rare, man. So good. So rare. Just even, man, just, you know how hard it is just finding an elite trainer box? I'm surprised my friend Mario was able to find one for me on my birthday. That was just like, I don't know where you found it or how you got it, but thank you again. That I appreciate that. But yeah, I ended up getting the Zygarde Hollow Rare. Let me show that off again. Bite, Power Blast, Zygarde. All right. Let us continue the festivities here. And uh, see what see what happens, see what goes down. Sharpedo, Trubbish, Full Heal, Sizzlipede, Purloin, Ekans. Then we have Absol, a reverse hollow variant, and our rare card is another hollow rare Machamp. I'm sure that's how Leonhardt says it. He's like, 
Another Hollow Rare Machamp. There you go, Leon Hart. Shout out to Leon Hart. Uh, here we are. Next pack. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Okay. Oops. Okay. Hopefully that's not like something crazy. Oh. Hollow Rare Galarian Obstagoon. There you go. That was the rare card in here. That was the rare card once again. And this was from the Elite Trainer box. Let me make sure I didn't get like a hollow foil uh, energy. No, I didn't. Okay. We all good here. Here, let me adjust my blinds again. It's starting to get a little too dark. Yeah. See, this is why I need better lighting. <laughs> this is why I need better lighting here. Yeah. I'm working on it. Just so I don't have to rely on the daytime so much. But yeah. Um, on to the next pack. Ah, man. Okay. I'm trying not to, like, go crazy on this pack because it's Champion's Path, you know? And uh, here we are. Ah, okay. I got it. Usually when I get it from the middle here, it starts to budge. Okay. All right. We have a Weedle. Call for family. Now let us... Uh, Begin and see what I get. Let's just kind of skip through it. Okay, I don't see any hall foil energies. So we got a hyper potion. Oh, all right. Our rare card is. Oh, all right. Woo! We got a Gardevoir V Max. Finally, I got something pretty good. Actually, everything in here is pretty good. Considering how hard this set is to even get. Wow, look at that. Gardevoir VMAX. All in their Dynamax form. Max Cure. Wow, this, damage, this does 180 damage and it heals 50 damage from this same Pokemon. This actually looks really grade worthy. I'm gonna send this out to PSA. Wow, this looks real good. No damage or anything. Actually, it looks a little uneven on the back from the edges. Um. Geez, overall, this is this is cool. Very good. I ended up pulling one of the few V Maxes that you get in this set. So there you go. And uh, let's move on. Let us move on from Gardevoir VMAX, but man, that was hype for sure. Okay. So now we got, let's see how many of these do we have left? We have, oh, four. We've gone through, I think half of the Elite Trainer Box cards. And now we have, okay. There's no energy, right? All right. No, oh, oh my gosh. Okay. I saw something rainbow in there. I saw a hint of rainbow color behind this card right now. All right. Let me collect myself. It might not be Charizard, but whatever happens, this is going to be awesome. This is a secret rare I'm going to get right now. Our rare card is... <laughs> what oh my gosh we got a gold color suspicious food tin oh man <laughs> yes yes how awesome is that guys what the heck yes 
Oh. Okay, I was wrong. That wasn't rainbow. That was gold. What? Okay, that was that was that was that was a champion's worthy pool right here. Was was this suspicious food tin? How exciting. Oh my gosh. That was like Okay, best pool so far, for sure. I wonder what's even in these suspicious food tins. What makes it so suspicious? Is it like cat food or I don't know, like But whatever it is, it's it it's it's uh it's covered with gold, the suspicious food tin, so boom. Bam. Thank you, ma'am. We got a suspicious food tin secret rare. The gold kind. Woo. All right. That was that was cool. That was awesome. Dude, I almost like freaked out. I thought that was going to be like Well, I still freaked out. That was good. That was good stuff. Suspicious food tin secret rare. Man, I don't know how this pack's going to top that, but man, just let's just let's just keep it going. Let's just keep it going. That was cool. All right, four from the back. Okay. Let's see what happens with this one. Okay, Vulpix. Trubbish. Roly Coley. Zigzagoon. Sonia. And our rare card is. A hollow rare professor's research. Awesome. Look at Professor Magnolia. She's getting ready to give you some sound advice. Help you be a better Pokemon trainer and a, be a champion. Yeah, be, be someone good enough to beat Leon. Discard your hand and draw seven cards. Oh man, yeah, this is the kind of card you want to have in your deck. But awesome. Very solid card too. It's um I feel like getting a hollow rare version of a trainer card is is like not as common as as getting just a regular hollow rare card of a Pokemon. But yeah. Let's move on. We have two packs left for the Elite Trainer box. And uh Yeah, I mean psh, what else is there to say? I'm still hyped from that gold secret rare. Suspicious food tin card. I mean, how do you top that? Maybe a Charizard, perhaps? No. <laughs> but yeah, um, let's just uh, go through it all. Skip it. Trubbish, and our rare card is. A hollow rare scent to scorch. All right. That's pretty cool. Let's leave that up. Um, I wonder if I got all the hollow rares from Champion's Path now. <laughs> no, I doubt it. Um, Heat Crawler, Searing Flame, 130 HP. Looking menacing in this uh, hollow rare version of this card. Very nice. That is what I got. Don't worry. You'll see all these cards that I pulled in the stars of the show portion. This is just, you want to see my reactions and just me being me, you know, no fake reactions from me here. These are all in real time. Um, and how I react is how I react. I'm not going to over exaggerate like some other poke tubers do <laughs> not calling anyone in particular out. Um, but that gold suspicious food tin, man, that was, that was awesome for sure. Okay. Um, second to last pack, everybody. Let's get that second to last pack magic going. Okay. So we got saw blue and our rare card is, oh, we got Gardevoir V. I got the V Max version of it. And now I got the Hollow Rare V variant. 
all goes together seamlessly. Look at that. Magical shot, swelling pulse. Let me grab the VMAX card I pulled earlier, put it next to it. There you go, man. Gardevoir V, VMAX. That is awesome. Psychic type too. Psychic type card. Yeah, magical shot, swelling pulse. Look at Gardevoir V and all of its glory. It's champion's path glory. That was a champion pool for sure. And our last and final pack, everybody. Um, has Dreadnought on it. So whatever happens, happens, you know. Like I said, I wasn't expecting anything crazy. But, um, you know, I'm just thankful I got Champion's Path. And I get to do a video about it. And here we go. Last pack. And then, uh, yeah. Whatever happens, happens. I got a suspicious food tin already, so that was definitely the highlight. A very rare card. So, well, here's a regular suspicious food tin. <laughs> Cards, um, Pokemon Center Lady, Full Heal, Purloin, Kakuna, Trubbish, Hatena, Sonya, and our rare card for this last pack is... A Hollow Rare Trainer card of Marnie. Fan favorite, one of your rivals in the video games. She's a, she's a woman of few words, but she's a strong trainer until you uh, whoop on her and then take the championship for yourself. Spoiler alert, haha. -ha. But yeah, there you go. Overall, these were, uh, that was worth it. Um, like luckily this was gifted to me and uh, my, my friend Mario got a really good gift because this gave me uh, really good cards and uh, let me show you the recap of the cards I got All right, so here's a recap of the cards I pulled from the champions path Hatterin box and the elite trainer box when it came to the hollow rare cards I pulled two Machamps Very nice Machamps. I pulled two Galarian Obstagoons which you see here in all of their dark type glory. And then I pulled three Hatterins, one from the Elite Trainer Box, and then two via my friend Don from the Turf Field Pin Collection Box. And then um, I ended up pulling Zygarde, Lycanroc, Daytime form, Hollow Rare Scent to Scorch, and then the Hollow Rare Trainer cards of Professor's Research and Marnie, which was really cool. And then once it came to the uh, Hollow Rare V cards, I ended up pulling a Grap Locked, very nice, a Hollow Rare V Gardevoir, also very nice, and an Aldegas Hollow Rare V via my friend Don from the Turfield pin set. Um, so those were the Hollow Rare V cards I pulled. And then the one VMAX card that I got was the Gardevoir VMAX in all of its VMAX glory or Dynamax glory. And then uh, I ended up getting this cool looking uh, hollow foil fighting energy. So um, if this is rare, I'm not sure if this is really rare or not, but if it is, um, let me know. I sleeved it up anyway because it just looks plain cool as a hollow foil energy. And of course, the lone star of the show was the gold colored secret rare suspicious food tin. That was definitely the champion worthy uh, pool. And yeah, I still got some gold out of this and this is this is that so that's what i got from the champions path from the elite trainer box and the hatterin box um i'm quite happy with the cards that i got and you know the scarcity of this set is what it is you know a lot of people want it and 
has a lot of rare cards and that's what's going to happen. Demand's going to be high and supply is going to be low. But, you know, I'm definitely not complaining about the gold colored suspicious food tin card that I got. Absolutely not. And you know what's crazy? In February 2021, there's going to be another similar type of set that's going to be releasing. And that set is Shining Fates. It's a set that's going to be very scarce. Everyone's going to want it. And you can only get booster packs from set related products, similar to Champion's Path. So um, come February, that set's going to be a lot of hype. And, um, you know, I'm going to do my absolute best to try to get some products this time around. I'm not going to miss out on it like I did with Champion's Path. But hey, you know, as always, thank you for watching my videos. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing, hitting that like, leaving a comment and hitting that bell for notifications. And you can also follow me on my social handles right here. So in the meantime, I hope you all have a good day. I know I am, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.